This is Banjo, and today I'm going over the startup procedure for the i16 for DCS World. In order to see the bulk of the cockpit, you'll need to lower your view. If you don't have track IR, there's a lever to the right of the seat that will allow you to raise and lower the view accordingly. Moving on, we have a series of three toggle switches that consist of battery, bypass, and radio. These must be enabled. At this point, we'll move on to the fuel system. To the left of the cockpit, We'll enable the fuel cock, and then we'll unlock the start pump and pump the pump five times, at which point we'll relock it and move on to the selector switch below it. We'll start by moving the selector into the carburetor position for two to three seconds and watch as the fuel pressure reaches one atmosphere. Next we'll move it to the motor position for the same duration, and finally move it to the 12 o'clock zucker position. At this point we'll set our magnetos to M1 plus 2, Set our prop pitch fully forward, open the cowl flaps fully, set our mixture fully forward, and open the throttle crack, at which point we'll move on to the starter. The starter is the black T-bar in the top right, labeled starter. You'll pull it for 12 seconds, and when you release it, immediately push it in and hold it in until the engine starts. With the engine running, we'll open the throttle and bring it up to 11 to 1200 RPM, at which point we'll monitor engine oil temperature until it reaches 50 degrees Celsius, at which point the engine is warmed up and ready to roll. So we'll cut to another clip where you can see that now. So this combined gauge I'm outlining right now consists of oil pressure on the inner left, fuel pressure on the inner right, and on the outer edge, engine oil temperature. We can see it sitting around 25 degrees at the moment, we need to bring it up to 50. So I'll time compress and clip ahead and we can see it brought up to 50 degrees, at which point the plane is ready to taxi and take off. 